It's cold out there, boys. Don't freeze your balls off. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are here to talk about layering. Uh, this is my personal system that I found for layering that works pretty well uh, across a, a pretty good range of temperatures. And it really just comes down to three simple pieces, which is, which is why I like it. So I'm gonna share it with you. It, again, it's just what I do. Your mileage may vary. You might have a better system. You know, let us know in the comments, but we're gonna, we're gonna show this to you. Now listen, this isn't like hats and gloves and boots and socks and like all the other like cold weather gear stuff. We're not talking about, you know, Gore-Tex layers and rain protection and, and stuff like that. We're just talking about basic bare like layering, okay? And making sure that you don't freeze to death when the weather gets cold. I am from the north, I grew up in Minnesota, and uh, I understand cold. I've, I've come to find that basically there's like winter in Minnesota and basically nowhere else. It, it's an exaggeration, have a sense of humor. Let's talk about the three kind of basic layers and, and why this works, right? So your first layer and the first basis of my whole system is the smart wool um, base layer. This is a 250, they have like 150, 250, 350s. This is just the 250, it's 100% merino wool and it's just, it's just a base layer. It's, it's pretty thin um, base layer. Huge, huge fan of this. I'll put a link in the description box below for this one, it's an affiliate link, but I really like this. I have like four of these. I became a huge fan of that particular piece uh, when I was at a SNS Training Solutions and we were running around and it was like, I don't know, 50, 55 degrees, 60 degrees and we're uh, patrolling and then we're running and fighting and we're patrolling, we're running and fighting and then we're stopped. And so it was a very, you know, seesaw level of activity and I was perfectly comfortable the whole time. Uh, and that severely won me over to that, okay? Now, so first layer, base layer, merino wool in this case, right? Now, again, you choose, you do you, but I really like that thing. Uh, the second piece is what we're just gonna call our exterior layer. Okay, so this could be your field shirt, it could just be your field shirt, uh, if you wanna roll that way. I have a smock out here uh, right now, this is a British field smock. Um, so, big fan of the smock. I like the smock because uh, it's great for like when things get inclement weather-y. Uh, it has a hood on it, it has a bunch of pockets, it's pretty puffy so you can stuff other layers under it. Um, I'm a big fan of the smock, I just, I think we need to, to do the smock more. Um, if there's some kind of American textile factory that you know that I can talk to about improving the smock, you, you, you let me know, because I, I got some ideas. So those are the basic two layers. There's, again, there's three, but those are the two that can really get you between like, I'm gonna say 20 degrees you know, and up, okay? With just that merino wool layer and an exterior layer. Again, I think pick your poison. I like the smock. I've run it just in a field top before. Um, I have the Russian top suit thing. Uh, I can't think of what that is, thing is called, but like the, I, I want it, Gorka, I think it's called the Gorka suit. I have that, um, that, that works great. Uh, you know, whatever your poison is, I've worn this uh, particular jacket, this is a Rothko field jacket, I've worn in woodland too. This one has a little bit of insulation, a little bit of repellent, it has a hood, right? So again, it's kind of that exterior layer, and then if I run a good base layer or two, as we'll get to, under it, I'm, I'm, I'm good, right? But having some kind of exterior layer, whatever your preference is, a good solid base layer, again, like that merino wool, you can run down to 20 degrees. Remember, you're gonna have kit on, you're gonna have a ruck on, you're gonna have your chest regular plates, you'll have a helmet, right? You're moving. So you're generating a lot of heat. And because of that, like I said, with, with less gear than you think, you can really cover yourself between that, that 20 to 60 degree range. Uh, I was out the other day with some boys and it was like, I don't know, high 20s, low 30s, windy, super windy. Uh, you know, it was like, I don't know, 20, 30 mile an hour winds. I mean, it was windy. And uh, we were out walking around, dreary, overcast. And all I had on was the merino wool layer and, and that smock. And I was great, perfectly comfortable the whole time, no problems, right? So you need a lot less than you think you do. And the third piece is some kind of mid-weight layer. Now for me, uh, that's just the, this is the Equix level two uh, waffle top, okay? You can pick something else, whatever but some kind of mid-weight layer to double up your insulation. And really, again, you're gonna be able to ride that down into like that zero sub-zero temperature range. When you have three layers like that, um, and a good exterior layer, smock, you know, uh, coat like this maybe, even your field top, 
you can write it down pretty cold. A lot colder than you think you could because again, you can have kit on, you're moving. Now, if you stop, maybe you need some kind of you know big overcoat to carry that you're gonna throw on over all of your kit, right? Maybe you have some kind of uh, Gore-Tex layer that's stuffed in your pack that you're gonna throw on over your kit to try to trap more heat in, whatever. That you can do that when you're stationary and things change. But I'm talking here about patrolling, active work, you know, moderate to high levels of activity with breaks in between, right? And in that, I think you really just need three layers. And when you get beyond that, you start, you know, turning into a marshmallow man. So I try to keep it pretty minimum. Now, you notice I've talked about all tops, right? The only time I'm gonna put a second layer on my legs, because by and large, I'm just running normal pants down to about 20-ish degrees, I'm just running normal pants. When, when I was out the other day in this dreary, you know, windy day, I ran just my pants. I didn't have any insulating layers on. When it gets colder, I'll run either, you know, the, the Equix 2 pants or I have a set of uh, long underwear that I'll run, right? But something like that, when it gets below that 20 degree mark, that's typically where I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna put something else on my legs just cause it's, it's getting pretty cold out, right? You gotta remember your legs are huge muscles. All the blood is flowing there. They're carrying yourself around, right? So your like your skin might get a little chilly, but by and large, like you're not, your legs are not gonna freeze, right? When it gets down below that 20 degrees, that's really for me, again, your mileage may vary. That's for me just more of a comfort layer at that point, okay? I'd hate to get any kind of, you know, frostbite uh, layer on my, or frostbite on my skin or anything like that. And that's just a comfort preventative measure as things get colder. And again, if I'm triple layered on top, you know, I have a long underwear and I have pants on, man, we can, we can ride that down pretty cold. Again, at that point, it's gonna be less about your layers and more about your extremities. You know, are your gloves squared away? Do you, do you have good face protection? You know, do you have a hat on? Like, are your boots solid? Do you have good socks? Those are gonna be the real key things at that point because your fingers will get cold, your toes will get cold, your, your nose will get cold, right? Those will be your issues. Not really your layers and your core, right? Your core is the last thing to get cold. We wanna keep our core warm because then it allows better blood flow and everything. But when it starts to get that cold, with those three layers, you're gonna be just fine. It's just a matter of the extremities and stuff like that. So, I hope that has been helpful. I hope that gives you some ideas on how to layer your system. Let me know if you got a better one. I'm always open to improving how I do layers, uh, but this is what I found that works best for me to keep moving, stay in the fight, and stay just, you know, a little bit comfortable and warm so I don't freeze to death because the cold is an enemy. Just ask the people who fought in Stalingrad. Do brave deeds and endure.